Gavin, this was a uh, high quality race where uh, I would say to be at least five or six horses here have got the opportunity of probably developing into metropolitan class horses later on down the track. And this horse here uh, has done everything right. His two runs here in Victoria have been very impressive. Just gets the job done and the driver gets the job done, the trainer gets the job done and it's got a good future. Yeah. The trainer and driver? Yeah, both. Okay. Uh, the horse definitely has. Uh, maybe the trainer and driver have passed their best, but um, we'll keep doing our bit. Um, but, yeah, no, he uh, he was going as good in the back straight as what he was in the front straight, and uh, all that tells me is that, um, you know, he can only get better. So, um, you know, I mean, I had a good horse on my back, so I didn't want to put too much pressure on the leader to, uh, you know, make the race for it, so to speak. So, uh you sort of there's a fine line between getting it right and not, and uh, luckily the horse was good enough tonight. No, very much so. A relaxed customer, and he certainly uh, has uh, had some pretty good grounding over in New Zealand. He's competed at some pretty uh, good level, and he's certainly uh, now going to be able to have that opportunity to work his way through here in Victoria. Uh, looking at him, uh, three-rolled, uh, I would imagine, uh, type of horse at uh, the Victoria Derby would be something that at least uh, Connections will have a look at. Oh, I've got no doubt about that, and... Uh, and that can probably be said for uh, a few of the other runners in that race uh, that uh, they'll definitely uh, be there to, you know, in numbers uh, come uh, derby time, I'm sure, because uh, some of them have already proven they're good enough and there's a couple there that don't have the record to say they are, but I think uh, by the time January, February comes around, they'll have proved their worth. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, it was a very good quality feel. Well done to uh, everyone involved. Uh, you got a... Uh smallish uh, book tonight but certainly some very good chances i know uh miley rose she's drawn out in seven but i think she's going a little bit better than what most people are giving her credit for her she hasn't had a lot of luck uh, gonna need a bit of luck from seven but i think she's right in it tonight yeah seven is a great leveler and um yeah i mean i've got no doubt if she had have come up with a nice alley she definitely definitely would have been hard to beat still still the one to beat but uh the barrier draw has made it awkward Bridie Valentine, she's going really well too, just uh, not having uh, much go her way, but uh, certainly not a horse that you'd be disappointed with her performance. No, no, she's uh, got a great attitude towards racing. Um, it's an MOM1 mare's race. You Sometimes they can be sort of a bit average races, but not tonight. It's uh, a pretty good race, that one, but she's uh, she's racing very well. Uh, awkward draw to overcome, but racing very well. And uh, my Trebekah, uh, what are your thoughts there? Uh, she's very, very good. Um, she's only four and a half, really, by our time. But um, if she races properly, she's. Uh, I know Katie Muscle's probably going to stride to the lead tonight and be hard to beat. But my Tribeca, she's uh, she's a horse of the future, I think. And Captain Bronze in the last, uh, he's got an awkward draw, but he's uh, not far off a win. And uh, if things uh, got run upside down, he's uh, not without a chance. Ah, uh, no, I agree. Yeah. Uh, Barry 12, not awkward, and the betting will uh, say that he hasn't got any hope, but uh, I agree entirely. He's uh, the sort of horse that uh, if he sat back and done nothing and the race has run to suit, he's never too far away. Good on you, Gav. Good luck tonight. Well done.